All right, welcome to another OG Groove Group with Gav. We are doing the new Slipknot album that came out September 29th, so a little over a month ago at this point. We are slightly delayed on our review and initial impressions of this album. We wanted to do it immediately, just like we did with Electric Callboy's album Techno, but Gavin was in a car accident, obviously got to prioritize his recovery, and he's doing better now, so we get to finally review this album for our first impressions. Very excited to do so. Yes, it was pretty painful because like we were I think we were trying to like find a good day for us to do it. Um the week it came out and I believe actually I got an accident the day before it came out. Yeah, so, I'm pretty sure that um, was the timing. We we were trying to get it done right away and then I uh you know, just had a little bit of a fender bender but I'm back now. Yeah, yeah that's about it. But um, yeah, very excited to be going into the Slipknot one. Glad that the Callboy was well received, and we're looking forward to pumping out a bit more of these. We've been talking the last couple of weeks of ideas of ones we could do, maybe some bad omens as a uh, band Gavin's been getting into. Mm-hmm. Everything he's shown me has been very impressive, but we haven't done a deep dive yet, so maybe we can do that in group group format, which would be exciting. Sure. But initial expectations for the end so far. I was just telling Gavin, I don't have a lot. Neither of us have really looked into it, even though it's been out a little over a month. And the singles were a little strange. We listened to each single as they came out, which was The Dying Song. I mean, Chapel 10 Rag has been out forever. And then Yen. Mm -hmm. Those are the three, right? Yep. So they were all a little different, but enjoyable. Chapel 10 Rag kind of a... I just not a lot special to it in my opinion. But, um, I, my favorite one was the dying song. Um, it just it'll be interesting. I, I'm really excited because I think they're they're trying to do some stuff a little bit on the heavier end than than they've done in a while. But hopefully they can just kind of get them organized and, and, and kind of moving through worry a little bit. Um, organized album will be kind of not necessarily like how it flows together but the song is going to be too just going in too many directions at one time i know obviously slipknot likes to bring some chaos and some craziness but mm-hmm. um i want to be able to you know, kind of follow along and get what the song's going for yeah it'll be interesting i don't know what to expect 12 songs. Do I. That seems like, well, I guess their last album wasn't very long either. Well, we can probably mm-hmm. hop right in with some Adderall. Sure. Let's pop it. Adderall. Man. And we're in. what instrument this is to start. Interesting. Dramatic. For sure. It's built. A cool sound. Got a lot going on with just an official audio kind of visualizer too. Groovy? Question mark? What am I listening to? Very much not what I was expecting for a song called Admiral as well. Tell me why I'm here 
baseline is awesome. That's a good point. I'm just... Oh, I can't say that word. I'm just have a good. ever heard that really in a slip on yeah. What an interesting voice for an elder. Absolutely. Uh, that's totally I like that little choir, though. Agreed. I feel like a choir is always a hit for a fucking song. It's a bad thing, Oh, Fascinating. Trapulating indeed. Um, you can it's start. Walmart's Black Friday deal. Yeah, it's intriguing. It's really intriguing. Um, I I think they went the. I mean, no one's gonna expect an, an album uh, to open up like that. Especially um, called Adderall. There is. Yeah, I thought it was maybe a little more up tempo. But it's. I love listening to music in the car, like mm -hmm. loud, loud volumes, and there's different types of music for different moods and different time of the day or night. Um, that to me, that's definitely just like a night driving song, like just cruising. So night driving song. I, I, it was obviously not what we expected, and I was I can't say that word. I was abagood to start that, and I think it was hard to get used to initially for that reason. But as it continues to go on, it's probably good that it's a long song, that it gives you time to acclimate throughout it. I mean, there's so mm -hmm. much musical depth on dis display there that it's pretty astounding. And I mean, it's a lot of instrumental sounds you don't hear from Slipknot usually. And mm -hmm. the chorus, too, like, it really grew on me as it went and sounded great. Yep. Really like that song. It was good. Not what I expected. Yeah, no. For sure. I, um,. It's interesting we have that, and then we go into the three three ones we've we already heard know. before. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm going to be honest, I, I can't say I've listened to these three signals a whole lot. That's exactly um, what I was going to say in our little pre-thing, and I forgot to, is that we have listened to each single, and I, I've i added all of them, but they're not the ones that I put on repeat. Even, I think Yen, I liked a ton, but I haven't listened to them a lot. They didn't have a ton of sticking power, really. 
Yeah. But we'll see. I think the dying song, uh, if I remember correctly, was my favorite one out of all of them. But yeah, I'm excited to revisit that one. Here we oh. go. Is this a video? Do you remember? Should I go full screen? Yes, it is. Correctly, it's a very stroby music video, so <laughs> I'm sitting in a pitch right. black room right now. Right next to me, so it's gonna blind me. Yeah. Was it one that I like couldn't even really watch? Like, that was glitch by Parkway Drive. Well, I remember that. <laughs> no. I think this might be the second one to do that to me, though. Let your mouth go sick and dry. Put your life into your death now. Let them see till you die. Die. how hard this song went. Yeah, I, I thought it was a lot softer as well. Um, different than I remember. That guitar solo. That's no doubt. That was a lot better than I remembered. That was really good. Yeah, I forgot how. I remembered it is kind of a, a little more jumbled and a little softer. Um, that had more flow than I thought it was gonna. And how I remembered it, and mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Totally. That yeah, that was really good. I uh, <laughs> that music video though. Very stroby, dolphinately. God, uh, very stroby, and the intentional blur too. Not a. <laughs> it just those two in conjunction hit you a lot. Yeah. And I was actually in 720. I was wondering if it was even lower than that, but no. So good. Uh, 
I don't know if I have a lot of specifics about that. Like, it, it's just a, a pretty heavy throughout most of it that's great. The chorus is incredible. And then that later guitar solo in that period where I kind of spoke up, I'm like, that part is super impressive. Um, love the sound. Yeah, I, I, I think it's a good song. I think it's just an overall solid song. Yep. Um, nothing that makes me just go, oh my god, this is going to be the best song in the album. Like, nothing that, that doesn't give that away yet. Mm -hmm. um, but no, very, very good song um, that was better listening to it uh, this time around than it, maybe it was the first time I listened to it. Agreed. All right, the Chapel Town Rag, been out the longest of any of these songs we have seen it live it was good it was good live right bring it live in a live setting it was pretty awesome mm -hmm. um so maybe, maybe i don't i don't even think i've listened to it since we, we saw it live um, yeah so i might be in the same boat and that was in me. um that was a while ago how many months ago was that that in april or may or i think april so I think spring was, sometime yeah i think seven months ago or so uh yeah heard it live but yeah it doesn't come up where you're gonna play it much uh, on the studio version but well we'll revisit it now let's see
Yok şimdi. Hoodwinked. I have my thoughts. What you got? I do not love that song. I uh, I think it's a below average song for them, personally. Um, live, it was kind of disappointing because like live kind of made me hear it a little differently, and I, mm -hmm. I actually enjoyed it live. Um, but hearing that again, I I think it's the worst of the ones we've listened to so far. I think uh, uh... for them, I think it's below average personally. I agree with basically everything you say, and I think I have a decent argument for why it's the case. I feel like almost the entire song is pretty mediocre and just not doing anything special, especially like the verses. His cadence is like just not smooth or just off compared to how he normally does it, but not in a good way. The only parts that I think are like compelling about the song are kind of the screaming portions. That portion... Uh, and then at the very end, he goes into like a very uh, low pitch delivery that has a cool delivery. And I think the end of that song is way better than the bulk of it. But yeah. I, I think there's parts that really stand out live with the yelling. But just on a bass level, that song, it doesn't do anything special and is, like you said, low average, I think. Um, yeah, and what I'll just say is like, I think uh, Corey was really good on this album. I, I, I think he sounds powerful. He, mm -hmm. you know, his voice sounds healthy. Like, I, I think he sounds good. Um, nothing has really popped out to me yet. Nothing has gone like, oh my gosh, this is it yet. I know we're only three songs in, but... Yeah, no, nothing's like an elite level song for them so far. Because I'm not a guy who's like, hey, it doesn't sound like Iowa, or it doesn't sound like the original. Like, or the self-titled. Like I, I really enjoy um, a lot of their newer stuff as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm the type where like it doesn't need to be super heavy. It doesn't need to be super poppy. Like I'm just if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. Um, and it's hard for a band to not evolve and like just kind of stick to one thing or not try anything different. It's very easy to get stagnant, especially for creative thing, people, lot which is band, everyone that makes music. Yeah, I think it's. For a lot of fans, they get sucked into, into it. It's not how I remember it, or it's not what got me into the band. Yeah. Like, you just got to be able to accept change in it. And, um, you know, but we have a lot of other, uh, songs that we have not heard yet still to come, so I'm, I'm still excited. I, yes. And Yen's another different a, one. But I remember not to make a not reference, but All Hope is Not Gone. Um, there you go. But yes, I, I don't. I don't really remember yet. I think I've listened to it maybe twice. Pretty sure it's a lot softer. Like yeah. I, I felt like it was a kind of an ent entirely different group, Hori almost like not metal. But I'll play it. Here we go. I really don't remember this pulsing face. This is bizarre. It's disturbing me. I don't remember a music video for it. I don't either. It's possible that this is... Uh... Newer. Yes. I also don't think it's this long. Or like the studio, so it's probably that the music yeah. video is a lot longer, maybe like by two minutes or so. You're the sin that I've been waiting for. Videos seem set up to be creepy as fuck. It's all I can think about. The smell of sweat and blood. 
I would feed you all my pleasures just to drown in all of your He is unmasked in this video, that's fascinating. Totally. Are you hurting me? Let me say the word I'm waiting for. A chance to make me choke. You're all I can think about. The taste is red and rust. Can I hold you in my mouth until I fade into this form? Additionally, this video is so interesting. Yeah, I just saw the video. I'm good. Studio portion of the song is done by this point. I know that. I'm I'm all right. It's another full minute. Strap yourselves in, Dev. This is kind of creeping me out. Dude, the whole video or god, the whole entire video has been creepy.
I don't really do horror. Um, you might ask why I enjoy this band. Like this is kind of they're kind of right on the edge of it for me. Um, I uh, it's kind of spooky at the end there. <laughs> I I don't do horror either, mostly because none of it does anything to me. Um, that was a scary music video though, and they didn't even have to do a ton to have that simplex. Um, that music video, I was amazed because I could not take my eyes off the screen the entire time. Almost every right. music video, there's some point where I get better off rewatching every daily do, and the eyes will wander. I'll be like, okay, they're doing this little gimmick. Let me move on. But uh, I I just wanted to see what was next at every point there. It was so yeah, it was a good video interesting, and I didn't know what was going on. And normally that's when I feel the best. I'm like, oh, I can see like what they're trying to say through this video. But that one, not really. Couldn't really tell. But so interesting. Right. Song's great too. Song. The chorus is so good. So good. Yeah, for me, I think just another. Um, middle of the line stuff, not song for me. Doesn't. I don't know, I'm, I'm finding the just. I'm just struggling to find some identity so far. And I, like I said, it doesn't need to be a concept album, or it doesn't all have to like flow together nicely. I'm just. I'm struggling to find, identify with 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 songs so far. Um, but you know, like you said before the last this song, it's like we got a lot of unreleased for us unreleased stuff. So mm -hmm. stuff coming. So. I, I kind of kind agree of... with uh, that, like not finding the identity. Um, I, for me, Yen's an above average song, probably. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm interested to see what else they got. But uh, nothing top tier. But Yen and the Dying Song, I think, are very good. Adderall, I feel like, is one that's going to grow as you continue to listen to it. I think Adderall might be my favorite song we've listened to so far. Like, I, I don't know. It's not... Oh, I want to listen to Slipknot. I'm gonna go pick out Adderall. It's no. it's a song that will come up in other scenarios that I think he'll be like, oh yeah, this this really hits right now. I'm loving it, but uh, it's not what you go to Slipknot for usually. Off topic, I have been saying the words "hive mind" a lot lately. Really? Um, it just I, it's Around out the there. I know. Drawn up some off of the plays, and we we're intentionally trying to like mess with some people we were playing and we the initial idea was to have everybody but our offensive line like running circles around the quarterback yelling hive mind <laughs> and then like at once they if the quarterback's facing north once they cross the quarterback's face they'll sprint out to wherever they need to be and we won't be like hive mind, hive mind, hive mind. <laughs> I scrapped that idea. Just had them huddle around the quarterback and then all run out. But um, believe it or not, I haven't listened to this album. Didn't know there's a song called Hive Mind. I've just in my day to day life, I have said Hive Mind a lot in the past month. Wow, I, I haven't it's thought of Hive Mind since probably like I was playing Destiny. It's been a while, or yeah. maybe uh, Stranger Things. Actually, that's probably the last yeah. time. One other coincidence thing before we go into the song. Um, so yesterday was November 5th. I decided to watch V for Vendetta out of nowhere. I haven't thought about that movie in years. Um, there's a phrase that they say regularly in that movie. It's like, remember, remember the 5th of November. And that's like V the terrorist like phrase that he constantly repeats. And I just decided to watch it yesterday out of nowhere on November 5th. Spooky. Sure. Um, let's get into it. The hive mind. I predict like ultimate chaos. Cardinal. And things might get spooky again. Hmm. Oh. 
It's like the instrument screaming. See the direction that course is going in either. I really like the sounds sinister on this album. Like, mm -hmm. even his clean vocals are like almost like crying for. Sounds evil. Well, it's, it's like I'm hearing panic through the instruments. Yep. It's crazy that they were able to do that. Go first, or should I? Uh, you can go first. Um, I think that is my favorite song in the album so far. Um, like I mentioned, um, this album, even some of the songs that I haven't liked or just think are solid or all right, um, and this one I, I, I think is really good. Um, 
one key thing so far is Corey has sound really good mm-hmm. um, throughout the album so far, and he just sounds so like I said demonic. Like last album, he had you know it's a lot of cleaner vocals, and it, it kind of just sounded more like he was just kind of classic Corey. I was kind of like just making a statement, you know, with his cleaner vocals, and but right now it sounds like panicked and distressed and. Just like demonic and evil, and and I, I, I'm enjoying it. I really enjoyed that song. So, um, my analogy to put it is just there was so much depth in that song, and it, even throughout the album, there's just so many layers. Mm-hmm. Um, I, the only thing I can really relate it to is the Shrek speech where he talks about the onion. Onion. And it's layers. And it's layers. Onions have layers. The song has so much, so many layers, and it was really, really. An enjoyable song for me. Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, I think from an experience standpoint, I really love, especially now that there's that updated video to Yen, that they do that immediately before Hive Mind. Because with how fucking creepy that music video was, going into Hive Mind, like I said, the, you could hear panic through the instrumental, which is mm-hmm. so impressive, and that's how it led up. Uh, I feel like I, I really did like that song on that list, and it was the most interested I was in the actual music throughout. But mm-hmm. it's a little bit of a wild card, I feel like, for me, where it's either going to become like my favorite of the album, and I'm going to constantly be listening to it, or I feel like it might get forgotten a little bit by me, just because the intro, it's not a pleasant thing to listen to right away. So like if I'm... Yeah. My habits as a listener, I'm shuffling through stuff. If the first 25 seconds of a song is unpleasant, <laughs> it, it's going to get skipped a lot. So it'll be yeah, interesting they're, to they're... see the longevity of this song, but I think it's got enormous potential. Yeah, there's a lot of Slipknot songs that either intros or outros I just kind of skip through and I cut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm just individually listening to the song. But Yes, they're... Because I, I think one. there's a lot of great songs by them that I forget about because it's like, okay, they went with this long lead up that you just don't want any part of. <laughs> and it's it's yeah. cool to do and it's cool for like a first listen and then sometimes it makes it something that you'll skip over because of that. But one I think that one is great. from their last album. Yeah. I don't find myself listening to that song enough, but it's awesome. Mm-hmm. But I am ready for some Warranty. Warranty. Here we go. Ooh, starting strong. Isn't this what you came here for? Isn't this what you came here for? Miracles and all the abyss, which be your day 
love in that fucking fake ending was really sweet. I'll let you take the lead in this one. All right. Uh, I thought that was kind of another one that it didn't. It did not stand out much for me. I don't think there was a lot that they did that was super compelling there or great. But I think the main thing that I take away from that one is kind of what you've been saying about Corey, and I think what I would pick out with Warranty, especially, and most of the album is. It's kind of the opposite of like going through the motions, I feel like, all of his vocal delivery so far. It's like yeah. everything is a deliberate, focused delivery that is, uh, he's so on point. I, I think he's been really he great. Was. I think the second half of that song, I think it improved when it got slower actually and went into that softer um, kind of mode, and I like that. I'm not amazed by that song, but I thought it was good, like mid-tier, yeah. Yeah, I let me think here. Um I think vocally it might have been my favorite song. I I I think vocals were awesome in it. Um the, not that the instruments were bad, but a lot less going like on. Was, not, yeah, in the it, depth. Even, like, we I, both talked about depth with these other songs. Yeah. I don't feel like there was a lot there. And I, and I don't need, like, I don't need, it. like I said, it's just a, a here, like, just what I feel. And, um, it didn't pull me in instrumentally. Like, initially, it caught my attention where I'm like, oh, this can be sweet. And then it just kind of all blended together instrumentally for me with some awesome uh, vocals over the top. Um, but I, I do think the song was, was very solid and I think better than the singles still in my opinion um yeah and i mean you heard me like the first kind of song immediately I, oh okay yep. like it, it grabs you at the very start but it, it is a little uh it does blend as it goes the instrumental but yeah like i said Corey, like he is he's focused he's on it uh so we got medicine for the dead anything else to say on uh warranty or hive mind before we go into this one Nope, those probably have been the kind of most consistent string of, of, of two songs, I think, so far for me. Uh, agreed. All right, here we go. I like that every song has a different kind of visualizer too. Yeah. Not not every band does that, and I, I appreciate that they did that for this album. Agreed. That sounds great. Very symphonic. That's a great word for it. Is that Papa?
God, they've been having a lot of interesting sounds in this song. Sounds so good there. Yeah, this this is a very impressive album by Corey. to be the guy who just keeps making analogies this whole time. I got one kind of I love analogies. in my mind. I love them. Let it rip. Um, yeah, this is really dark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really, All right. It's really dark. Even okay. better. <laughs> Im Im imagine you're in you're on the surface in a boat in the deepest part of the ocean. Okay. Like okay. you're on you're on the surface, right? It's nighttime. You got thousands of feet of water below you, right? Just of emptiness. Imagine having just enough weight in your pockets where if you fell in, you would just like slowly descend to the bottom. That's how I felt yeah. like the song was. And then at the end when it picked up, that's like when you start drowning, then the panic sets in. But it's so just you like, feel like, like you're, you're slowly just... drowning all the way through? Yeah, almost, but like it's almost peaceful. Like you're just, you're there's nothingness. You're just slowly descending, and then all of a sudden you realize, oh fuck, I'm drowning, and then you die. But that, it's extremely dark. But the song I, uh, is very dark in my mind. 
That and energy didn't that hit as much with me. <laughs> Maybe for I'll me, have to try to think through that lens again, went. but, um... That's where I, my mind went. Like, I feel like I'm drowning. Like, it was just, like... Interesting. I've never drowned, so, like... I, uh... What was that? M my take on that song is it had elite ear candy. Just, like, the little extra sounds that they trickle in. Uh, I think those were incredible. I feel like, for me, they never really kind of put everything together where I was like, oh, this is the sound that I'm loving right now. Yes. I don't think I had any of those moments throughout the song. I think it was good throughout, and I think that the uh, extra bits that they added were great, but nothing that was uh, substantially impressive for me for that. Yeah, movie. and I, I think, you know, it's a... One of those middle line songs for them where it's like if i'm turning on slipknot and i want fast heavy all that and i'm going to this album i'm not going to that that Certainly. song yeah then if i want more slow and and, and calm and i'm it's not going a, to it's that not song. prototypical like it's, slipknot value but yeah it still has value i feel like it's gonna get lost a little bit for me where it's I, just I would like, agree I'm never going to be in the mood for it because, like, I'm either going to want to listen to some something heavy hurricane. and fast. Which I, <laughs> I know you disagree. I, but... I, I, find, I find myself listening <laughs> to that song quite a bit, actually. <laughs> I know. You psycho. Okay, should we go on to acidic or do you have anything else? Uh, that's acidic it is. All right, let's go. Ooh. The most consistently scary mask. Well, I guess his never really changes much, but... That one always gets me. Is it the mask, or is it, like, the person? Like, the long black hair? Like, is it the complete package? I think it's the mask, but his dude? eyes does a bit... His eyes are fucking... A big part of how scary that is. Shout out to the bass on this album. Like, the actual bass instrument. I like any bass boosters, but like. And that would be the book club. Awesome. Yeah, the book club is good. That's something that you shout it out a lot. The percussions in this song uh, are very impressive as well. It's got a lot of different things going on. Part of this song has been really impressive.
Interesting. Um, I, for me, probably my favorite guitar work on the album. Yeah, and it was uh, it was like a lot of different styles and sounds of the guitars, especially in the center middle of that song. Um, mm -hmm. as when I mentioned that, like. It seems like things were kind of climaxing in the middle of the song, and then they added in so many different things, just kind of battling as that was happening, which was super interesting to listen to. I think this album, um, in its entirety, it's shaping up to be like the most spooky and sinister, I feel like, of them. Like, consistently, I feel like that. I'm getting that vibe through, like, Right. all of this um it's it's interesting and i i don't know they're they're being very successful if that was the direction they're going it sure seems like that was the the goal and i don't know it's yeah, it's I cool just, i like that song a lot I, I enjoyed that song um i for me they're, they're definitely went a different direction when it comes to just like hey we're not gonna put out the same thing we've done. This is gonna be completely different, and yes, enjoy what you enjoy, and and I think that's kind of what it is for me. It's like I enjoy some, I I like some, and I don't like some. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, saying, do what do what you want with this album. We're gonna try something new here, but I will agree with you when it comes to being the spooky, like the the, the eeriness mm -hmm. is definitely up there. And we've talked about depth a lot. I, I think that song was another good example of that. Especially, like, I, I mentioned percussion at the beginning, and then they came up with... They had multiple different styles of percussion, even after I said, oh, they're trying a bunch of different things in the backing here. And so I feel like there's so many different things that they're layering into each of these songs. I mean, they just got an endless supply of onions. Let me get a discount at fucking... I don't know, wherever they're getting groceries insert shrek giving his onion speech here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the editor i don't know yeah, i'll see what i can do onions have layers ogres have layers onions have layers you get it we both have layers <sighs> <laughs> maybe uh should we go into air air anything else yep oh onions what onions ah uh, yes good point Heirloom. This one's a little bit. Is this the shortest song in the album? 3.30? Yep. 58 minute album. Okay, yeah, it's all songs. Which is 20 minutes longer than Techno was. Fair, Almost 30. Fair. 28 minutes. Alright, on we go. I do think these are the best visualizers for an album I've seen consistently. Hmm. Interesting. This sounds more like a fashion guitar to start.
that our portion is to somewhat saving it. Solo. Maybe. I don't mean to disrespect a solo, but there's a tambourine. And I'm a sucker for tambourine. <laughs> You seemed a little frustrated, so I'm gonna let you vent. Uh, fr frustrated's not the right word for it. Um, but I, like the the first, the start of the song, I'm like, oh, this this sounds more like prototypical Slipknot, like getting back to the roots a little bit. And uh, I just got kind of disinterested as it went away from that starting sound. Um, and I feel like most of what they're going for just didn't really work for me and it wasn't interesting or compelling and i'm like okay kind of just waiting for this one to roll out then the the guitar solo came in i'm like okay that's distinct that's cool to listen to but i feel like the rest of the song i never really got that um i felt the least interested in that and then i feel like chapel town chapel town rag those two for me have been the weakest and i i was not grasped by heirloom I'm actually the other way. This is probably my second favorite song on the album. Really? Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's probably one of the more simple songs on the album when it comes to just like it's very chugging along, kind mm -hmm. of redundant there. But which you know is like it's a no-no for me with songs. Like when things get repetitive and they're not changing, that's when I kind of tune out. But for sure. But then. Where I thought it was going to go into the chorus, a very different direction. And at first, I was like, "Oh no, I think it kind of ruined it." But then by the end, I was like, "Oh, wait, I kind of, I like this quite a bit." Um, so like, for me, this reminds me, in comparison to Avenged Sevenfold, because into quite a lot, like. Reminds me of their most recent. I, was, I hate to say recent album, the stage, <laughs> um, where um, it's like you're just whatever your first option and your whatever your second option, not option, but like where you think the song's gonna go first or you think it's gonna go second, plan A or plan B. It takes plan C or D. Like it, I've been the same for the album where it's very very. It's not going to go as expected. Yes. Um, and I enjoyed that song, last song quite a bit. I, it's still an ad for me, and it's probably something that I maybe have to listen to more, but initial impression, I was not digging it as much as most of the songs. But I'm still going to add it, give it a shot. We'll see. Are we ready for... The hive Mind's hive, hive still on top for me. I would agree. I, I think that's the most special of the group so far uh the yeah i, I think it's kind of almost clearly at the top um good to go three seven seven Yeah, would be so cool. What was that? It has potential to be so cool. Come 
Sounds like aliens. Yeah, dude. That's fucking legit. going on this one. Go ahead. That might be number one for me now. One or two. Like I said, Hive Mind is kind of a wild card. I'm going to have to re-listen to it. But I was really into that just about all the way through. I love the extremely fast-paced verses. I think those had the best verses by far. And it even had mm -hmm. probably one of the weaker choruses, which have been kind of my favorite parts of most of this album. But the bulk of that song I am just so enthralled with and I'm fucking like I was kind of headbanging in my fucking chair there like I was into that song loved the okay dance all the way through really good mm -hmm. yeah it's definitely for this album up here uh, same thing I, I don't know if I could place it right now but definitely up there for me on this album probably top two top three somewhere in there i'm, I'm um, thinking top two for me personally at this time um i i'm an idiot i didn't even realize h e h three seven seven i feel like that's supposed to spell hell, hell. I, yeah. I don't did you pick up on that i not until you said i didn't realize and then i looked at it and i'm like oh that's hell <laughs> yeah i feel like i feel like an idiot yeah well i mean if or you're going like... to try to spell hell i mean you probably go with ones instead of sevens these trolls but no i, I get you yeah uh do you have more to say or should we go on to to say decide going to say but yeah no uh definitely uh 
an above the line song for this album. Yeah. Well. And it felt good to get one of those like kind of consistently fast paced songs. Um, I, I like that. Even though I've I've liked a lot of these songs, but I I felt like I needed that. All right, here we go.
not feel bad for missing out on that that means decide. I don't think we should have got that one. Right. Um, I'll, uh, first, I, um, could have chopped that end part off, the vocal change, made that a one short song of an awesome because I, I have had not had to make a conscious effort to, like, not check my phone or get distracted on my computer, like, mm -hmm. I've been overall pretty engaged, you know what I mean? Like, A, because I'm thoughtfully trying to listen to the music, but, like, it's done enough intriguing things where I've been engaged. The first chunk of this song, like, I felt myself grabbing for my phone to look at it, and I had to, like, consciously tell myself, hey, don't try to listen to the music. Um, I had the exact that, same the end part was awesome. That end part was awesome. I, I think that the overall the song, it's not worth going through the rest of the song get to it, in my opinion. I'd say we're close to aligned on our experience for that one. I had the same thing. I kind of like, oh, I'm checked out right now. I need to, <laughs> I need to pay attention uh, through the start of that song. Um, yeah, a, a very weak build up for a while there. And I felt like once you got to the middle, once I started listening to Corey a little bit more, I felt he was doing enough interesting things with his voice that like it kind of brought me back in, but it wasn't anything super impressive and then i think the ending yes with the tempo change as well was uh, the best part of the song it was kind of just floating through mediocrity through most of that one but i mean again it's it's another one where i'm like eh, it's probably going to be an ad but not blown away nothing for me, impressive for them it would be an ad, ad, ad for me um, yeah said, it, plus it's very long it's, that's, that's if it was a two I'm minutes and forty second song, where it's just the end part, like ad, really enjoyed it. Yeah, but it just it's uh, the time investment; it's not worth the, the reward for me. Yeah, I kind of get you on that one. All right, any additional things before we dive into the finale? Finally, finally. Oh, it could be that they've been playing some tricks on us. It could be finally instead of finale. All right. Yes. Yes, I thought the same. Are we almost gonna get like a Johnny Cash hurt style here, or what do we got going? And now it's a shame, but I gotta stay, cause I like it here. I know it's the same, it happens every day, but I like it here. I know it's a shame, Strings. but I gotta stay, oh. cause I like it here. I know it's the same, it happens every day, but I like it here. The sad things, the punishments, the bad things, the cellular, the solenoid, the outer reach. Yeah. 
make every song better. They definitely can add. It's kind of fading out here. So, mm -hmm. what uh, I think a very, very good finale, uh, both to that, well, yeah, to the album. I think that was just extremely well done, very fitting for its title, and which would make it a toe title. And I, I find it so interesting that, especially in that song, they've introduced the instruments like they have this bright piano, they've got the strings that are such lavuliful instruments but they still were able to turn it into this sinister dark theme that they had throughout the entire album and they were able to kind of get you into that mental chaos that it seems like they were trying to portray and i i like that song a lot i think it's probably top three on the album for me i enjoyed it a lot i think it's something that i'll be listening to frequently um, that's what I think of the song. We'll probably do a full album thoughts thing, but uh, what did you think of Finale? Um, I felt like same thing. This is probably you know top song for me in the album as well. Um, I almost felt like you, lyrically, it was probably one of the deeper ones I've gotten into by them. Um, it almost seemed like a um, brutally honest self reflection mm -hmm. where it's there's been so much pain and di and difficulties and throughout time as a group, but then like at the end of the day, they realize they need to be here. Mm -hmm. I I thought it was a very very deep song. Like yes. maybe maybe because a I could hear the lyrics, I I was, I was more following that. Um, because sometimes you know when it's all screaming, it's sometimes tough to pick up on some things. But yep, uh, it just felt deep and it, it felt like an honest like reflection of themselves, which. Um, I thought it was really cool, but definitely a top tier song on the album for me. Yeah, and I mean, something that's called, fin it, it lived up to what it should have been. Yeah, it was exactly what it needed. Yes, I I, I think they completely nailed that one. Um, Let's move on to our full album thoughts. I What I would say, I don't think, let me restart with that. I think they tried a lot in this album. And when you do that, I think you'll have hits, you'll have misses. 
and something that I think was impressive. I don't think I have something that I really dislike. I don't think any of these songs have a strong dislike for or that I'm like, oh, I really just can't listen to that. I think that they had a lot of depth, attention to detail, and a common theme throughout the entire album, and I think that's all impressive. Are there as many distinct, incredible songs on this album as a lot of theirs? I don't think so. I think they fall short on a lot of things there. But I'm pleased with the album. I enjoyed it. And I think there's a lot that I will listen to, especially in these next couple days, weeks, that I'll listen to frequently, and a lot that I will not skip going forward. And I'm overall happy with it. For sure. Um, for me, um, like when it comes to depth and, and, and kind of layering and, and musically reaching out to different places and I thought it was one of their deeper albums when it came to just more experimentation and like I said playing with different sounds and layers and all that stuff but overall album for me I, I feel like it was if I had like set like kind of like a king of average for me um, yeah I think there's about five songs on here that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy. Two that I think are kind of, you know, I like. They're right in the middle. And then there's a, there's a, you know, another chunk, another five or so that I, I could honestly live without. Um, is that now that's after one listen for a lot of this stuff. And mm-hmm. I, part of me felt that same way with, um, I, we are not your kind. I'm a bit, Oh, we we are not your kind popped out a little bit more. Um, oh, I thought me. you were just trying to compare it to the last album. Yeah, no, I was just like, I I'm and I'm a big guy who I rediscover music all the time, so it might be one of those things where it might take me two months to appreciate this album. Um, mm-hmm. It might make take me because I I'll still listen to all these songs because I want to give them. And I know, finally like respite on spital fields. It finally happened. <laughs> You did? <laughs> well, I sent you a video about that when I was in my car. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, but continue. Yeah, yep. But overall, first initial reaction, that's kind of where I'm at. But like I said, I do often like rediscover music. And mm-hmm. um, I haven't, like, I'm not one of those guys who's like, oh my God, the band's ruined. They're going to be terrible forever. Um, no, I like, so there's a lot of really positive things here. And then I think some songs just lost my interest when it just came to being very kind of scatterbrained where it, it like the, the song I couldn't put it in a category yeah um, and I, I think on the other side of me saying there isn't anything that I strongly disliked at the same time I think there's a little more indifference with a lot of the songs on this album than I would like I mean I just did too much shoulder shrugging where I'm just like mm. yeah yeah that's that's almost half of the album it seems like is kind of that feeling which doesn't reflect super strongly on a band of this caliber but um yeah. i i think there's a lot to be pleased with uh there's not a lot to hate from my standpoint but no, I, agree. I it's not their best but there's some great stuff so yeah, no, overall i feel some, good about it there's definitely some like some highlights and some gems we can pull out here where that, that go and one and thing from like from Corey's standpoint, like I don't know, like he fucking killed that entire album and from my perspective. Yeah, you, like he he really put wonder, together a great performance. You wonder what will happen as these lead singers get older and stuff like that, especially seeing this type of music. No. But yeah, he hasn't fallen that. off at all from what I'm hearing on that. No, it was, it was good to finally kind of release that music into our world because we haven't been able to listen yep. to it. So We've been holding no, back I, for over a month. Yep, so I'm kind of excited to go back and re-listen to the whole album again on my own. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I'm, I'm big. I, I rediscover music all the time, and it might take a few listens for me to understand because it's a lot of these songs are so deep and have so many layers that it um, might take me a few listens, but mm-hmm. that was just my initial reaction. Agreed. Hopefully, we'll see what we can do for a new groove group coming up soon. Look for maybe Bad Omens, up and comer, because they uh, oh, they caught our eye, and that might be our next one. 
as far as bands that we're already very into that are coming up with new releases, I don't think there's anything super close on the horizon. Um, but we'll see. Yep. Peace out. Peace out.